Hello, wonderful children. Oh my God, it's another exciting Sunday. I'm so happy. Hmm? We have missed you all this week, but we are here for our children's service. You're welcome. Take your seats. Take your seats and let's listen to everything that the teacher is going to teach us. Meanwhile, my name is Teacher Grace. For those that are watching for the very first time, this is our kids' online service. You are very welcome. Today we have something special, children. Hmm? Do we have something exciting today? We have Teacher Becky in the house. Can we give Teacher Becky some flowers? Wonderful. And to, now we are going to give the children out there, all of them that are watching us, some nice flowers. We love you so much. Thank you for always watching the kids' service. Today, we're going to talk about something really interesting. Hmm? We're going to talk about our new series. We have finished the devotional. Those who do not have your devotional yet, we have them in stock. Just tell mommy to come and pick one for you. It is interesting. Now we're going to start our new series. It is called Who God Is. What is it called, children? Who God Is. Let's repeat it again. Who God Is is wow did you know that god is omnipresent omnipotent those are very complicated names and words but teacher is going to explain to us what they all mean today we're going to talk about something interesting about who god is did you know that god is everywhere at all times hey now you know you know that we cannot be in two different places at the same time but god can he's, he's even here eh? did you know he's here Right here, right here with, with us. us. God is God here is with here us. With so we're going so to talk about God is everywhere at all times. And teacher Becky, teacher Becky is going to explain everything for us. Okay? okay. So before so we do we that, do will you join, join me? We we'll go and praise and worship the Lord. Then after, we can come back and talk about who God is. Okay, bye for now. See you when we come back.
Teacher Becky, and I've been missing you so much. Oh, so today we are starting our new series called Who God Is. Wow, I'm so excited. Um, we are going to be doing one truth about God for today as we are starting our new series. And one truth about God is that God is omni present yes god is omnipresent can we all say one more time god is omnipresent yes and omnipresent means that god is everywhere he's everywhere all the time wow i have one simple question for teacher grace teacher yes. grace yes teacher is it possible for you to be at the front of the church and at the back of the church at the same time no. Sinza, is it possible for you to be at school and at home at the same time? No. Wow. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. Our God 
can do that. Our God is always everywhere. He can be at, at the back of the church and even in front of the church. He can be at your school and even at home. He can see what mommy is doing at home. He can see what dad is doing at, at work. So that is our God. He is omnipresent. He is always everywhere. You mean Everywhere? Yes, our Come God on, Chico, is always that. everywhere. God is everywhere. everywhere. Wow. Wow. So we have our scripture, our memory verse. It is coming from the book of Psalms 139, One. Mm -hmm. verse 7. Oh, we're going to do some gestures for you, teacher Becky. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalms. 139 verse 7 it says where can i go from the where can i go from your spirit no. No. where can i go from your presence Nowhere. yes so i want you to repeat this one more time psalms 139 verse 7 it says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I go from your presence? Psalms 139 verse 7. It says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I go from your presence? So we are going to repeat one more time, and this is what I want you to do. When I say, where can I go from your spirit, you say, nowhere. And when I say, where can I go from your spirit, you say, nowhere. One more time, okay? Yes. Where can I go from your spirit? Nowhere. Where can I go from your presence? Nowhere. Yes, you cannot go anywhere. God is everywhere. You cannot hide from God. Therefore, what we have to learn today is that you have to keep on praying to God. You can pray from your bedroom. You can pray from your church. You can ask him anything that you want. God is always everywhere. That is what we learn from Psalms 139 verse 7. Oh, wow. Yes. Teacher Becky. Yes. You mean there is nothing I can hide from God? You cannot hide anything Even if I from hide God. under the bed, under the bed. No, you cannot hide anywhere. Even there, there, and I even switch off the lights. God can still see you. Uh, when... So you cannot do a bad thing and hide. Yes, God you... will see you everywhere you are. But the good thing also, Teacher Becky, mm -hmm. it means that I can pray at any time. Yes, you can I pray can at praise any God time. at any time. Yes. Mm? I can tell God anything because he is everywhere, everywhere. that I am. Wow. wow. So we can even pray from here and God will listen. Yes, we can pray from here and our God will listen oh. because he's always everywhere. I want to ask our children, what did you learn from our memory verse? Aha, uh -huh. where can I start from? Aha, uh -huh. Jolly, what did you learn from our memory verse? I learned that you cannot go anywhere from the Lord's spirit and his presence. Yes, wow, can we clap for Jolly? She says you cannot go anywhere from the Lord's presence and the Lord's spirit. Aha, uh -huh. can I have aha uh -huh, Ganiko? We cannot escape from the Lord's presence. Yes, we cannot escape from the Lord's presence. Can we clap for him? Can we clap for him? Ooh, uh -huh, Sinza, tell us what have you learned? We cannot hide from God. Yes, we cannot hide from God. Wow, that is so amazing. We cannot hide from God. Our God is omnipresent. He's always everywhere. At all times. times. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. And may God bless you. Amen. See you next Sunday. But teacher Becky. Hmm? Before we say bye-bye to those children, let us pray. Yes. Because okay. God is here and is going to listen. Hands together, eyes, eyes closed. closed. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your presence with us. Today we have learned that you are always with us 
everywhere at all times. So Lord, we pray to you and we thank you for your presence with us. We want to ask you for more protection, for more provision, for your, for, for your presence to continue being with us, O oh Lord, that you protect us, protect our parents, our friends, our siblings, our brothers and sisters, and all our teachers. May you give us good help, may you keep us through the week, Lord, but may you also remind us every day that you are with us, that you may help us to be good children and not do bad things, and always pray to you and praise you every day, everywhere, because you are present with us. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. We love you so much, our wonderful children. That was Teacher Becky. We've learned so many things from her. Wasn't it wonderful? Hmm? We're going to send our love to baby Bryce. Huh? Can we give baby Bryce some flowers? She's there at home. Shoo, 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 shoo. We love you so much. Oh, we can't wait to see you. If you haven't gotten your kids devotional, please tell mommy they are in stock. We have them come to church and ask for your kids devotional and you'll have an exciting moment learning so many things. Otherwise, have a wonderful Sunday. We love you. Take care of yourselves. Help mommy. Oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. Can we show our children some love? We flower them, huh? We flower them. Flowers! Shh.